Pale Fest. Pale Fest. Pale Fest. Pale Fest. Pale Fest 3D. Pale Fest 3D. Pale Fest 2024. Pale Fest 2024. Pale Fest.
the heart of this song is called The Dead Melody! Let's go! to give a big round of applause to every band that played here tonight. I want you guys to keep making a round of applause for everyone that made this event possible tonight. And lastly, I'd like you guys to give a round of applause to yourselves for being here.
Okay, so Baylor worked tirelessly all day judging these bands on these crazy criteria. And we're gonna go from third place to first place. So, third place goes to the boys from the UK, Salacia. If we could get those fellas on stage or a representative of some sort to accept this beautiful trophy. Thank you to everyone who donated that we would not be here without any of these guys. So yeah, give it a round of applause for you. And thank you. If I didn't send you a mask when I was 16, I would not be here right now. So fucking AJ good man, make your dreams come true. <laughs> Alright, are we ready for second place? I called this one early on, uh, one of my favorites of the night, was she. That was literally the sexiest set I've ever seen in my life. I mean, good job, fellas. Less heavier band is super fucking intimidating being up here and playing for you guys. Um, um, but yeah, man, we really appreciate you guys. Um, you showed us so much love and support, um, and I could not be more grateful. Thank you to AJ, Bishop, all you guys for trusting us. And, uh, Hell yes. Special shout out to DJ because not only did he perform today, he has a booth over there and he's a volunteer helper for all this. So give it up for DJ. Okay, last but not least. Let me double check, hang on. <laughs> Chapel Road! Nah, I'm just kidding. I mean, is there any, like, questioning who number one is? It's obviously Maul. I'll tell you, uh, I've been involved in uh, the music industry for a long time, and it's been a long, long time since I felt something like that from a live performance, and it happened right here in the Shoemaker Center. Like, <laughs> yeah. fucking sick. Congratulations, boys. Um, I want to thank my mom. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out. Uh, thank you to the judges for fucking picking us. Goddamn. We, didn't, we haven't practiced in like a month, so I don't know how we played that well, but uh, thank you. Pretty damn good. Anybody else want to talk? Uh, and all right, that's it. We bring it back to spin kids, baby. Congratulations, fellas. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, you know what? Uh, give it up for him again. So, if Belfast uh, comes back next year, and hopefully it does, do you plan on coming back, man? As long as they want me here, I will be here every Belfast. So, being at Belfast last year and this year, like, what's like the big standout difference, like, between the two? Oh, like, man. Just the growth, or? Yeah, I mean, it's grown. It's definitely grown, I would yeah. say. I mean, Bishop and AJ and everybody, you know, they're all constantly putting their time and energy and everything. Yeah. Money, everything, they're making it, it's gonna get huge. Really yeah, yeah. So, Lonnie, you've been to like every Pell Fest, right? 
Yeah, every one. They had, yeah, I was at the first Pale Fest, but before that they had kind of like a open house type thing, which I wasn't at, but I've been to all three Pale Fests, and I will be at the rest of them Dang. forever and always. That's what's up, man. That's no excuses. <laughs> no excuses for if you missed, right? Huh? Yeah, no excuses, man. Is it your first time to Pale Fest? Yeah, it is. What do you what do you think, man, about the like, atmosphere? I, I think it's really cool, and uh, I wish I had been here sooner. How many times have you been to Pale Fest? All of them, right? All of them, yeah, since year one. Hell yeah, dude, that's so sick. Is it crazy to see it keep growing every year? Yeah, I mean, uh, I just think about what it's going to be like in five years, ten years, twenty years. Yeah, it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. So I've I've been going to Pale Fest for the last two years. This is my first time vending, but first time vending, okay. I. I don't know, man. It's just a big family. Um, everyone has been so welcoming um, and inviting. Um, everyone's so just willing to stop and talk and you know get to know each other and make make friends. Um, you know, there's been so many new people I haven't talked to before. It's either their first Pale Fest or whatever, but um, everyone's just really, really cool, man. It's it's so awesome. Yeah, I get the whole family vibe here. And I, I hate saying it because it's so corny. It's like it's oh, like, just a it's big like family. Cliche. It's like cliche. God, but it's true, man. It's so true. Everyone's just like. We truly do look out for each other, and we, we have each other's back, and it's, it's a big family. Yeah. The, this is the third time that I've done this festival, so it's uh, it's always been a good time, but this year feels a little bit more special than others. It's been yep. a nice little evolution. Saw a lot of familiar faces this year, uh, but a lot of new people as well. Um, families, you know, the kids are welcome as, as they are every year. Like, yeah. It grows every year, and like, I'm really excited to see how it takes off, because, you know, I only have this experience of Pale Fest, I haven't experienced like Mask Fest or all these other ones because we don't have that in the UK. Like from what I've seen, it's, it's the best one, man. There's nothing like Pale Fest. Yeah, Literally sure. nothing like it. Take I look it. forward to this every year. For real? Yeah. Take I'm already it. thinking about next year, man. Yeah, he's like, I'm already thinking <laughs> about the Me too. Future. I'm already thinking about next year. <laughs> yeah, dude. What do you think about the event, man? Like, Dude, honestly, I'm I'm kind of mind blown a little bit. Really? There's, there's so much variation here. There, there's Each table is unique. Every everybody really brought their all with yeah. it, and it's really cool to see it all in one place. Yeah, no, for sure. Have you vended before? Yeah, a couple of small local like like crafts, art fair type type things, but nothing nothing to this degree. So how does this compare to something like that for people that like didn't come here? Like, how do you explain to them like what we're where we're at right now? Uh, honestly, well, compared to those other ones, it's a little overwhelming to, to be to be fully honest. Because those other ones are smaller, you know. It's yeah. a lot of a lot of crafts, a lot of jewelry makers, a lot of painters, you yeah. know, things like that. This is a whole different like like scale, mm -hmm. and and they've managed to put together you know an event that's compact, kind of close knit, but but it's so big, it's so expansive across across you know this whole space. Yeah. So you've watched it grow each yeah, year. Man. What's that like? You know, it, like. It's 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 a it's a monster of its own at this point, um, and it's only going to continue to get bigger. But yeah, being here the first year when we did it, um, it was at AJ's building. It was in yeah. the parking lot, mm -hmm. and it was absolutely packed. And so we're like, okay, next year we need something bigger. We need something indoors. And so we had the Elks Lodge, and then that was absolutely packed. And we're like, okay, now we need something bigger again. Mm -hmm. So now we're here at the Shoe Maker Center, and it's yeah, it's. I think we finally have a good sized building, but. Um, and it's man, it's again, it's a big family. No matter how big we get, it's we still keep that small vibe, you know. Mm -hmm. that, that it's like small town vibe. Everyone knows everyone. It's right. it's that type of deal. And you know, of course, we gain people every year, and those people just become part of the family. And it's just, it's it keeps growing and growing and growing. And um, it will I, at some point it will outgrow all of us. It's 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 a monster of its own, like I said earlier. Stop it!
didn't know how big the home is. And by seeing all of you guys here, the home is huge.
That stupid thing with his fucking hand all the time. It is. 
I'm about to take you outside. I'm so mad at you right now. No, it's not on the fucking track. I know, that's what I just said. Why is it so hard to get on the track? No! <laughs> this is, I think you should leave Skit in live action. <laughs> How does this fucking work? By putting it on the fucking track! <laughs> you know what, dude? Uh, <laughs> Why is this not being fucking filmed? Oh, I didn't well. <laughs> 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 right, I'm gonna Yeah, yeah. shit. Like, Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> fucking palace of trains over here. <laughs> Can someone, can someone play some like calm music? I'm getting heated. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Yo, no, the front wheels aren't even fucking touching. Yes, they are, Tyler. No, they are not. I They're see, right there. I see air. <laughs> I see air. <laughs> All right. We fuck up the trains. Like, mm -mm, not me. It does look like Slayer a little bit. Yep. Oh my god. Wait, watch you hit this corner. That's gonna be sick. I'm gonna drift it. <laughs>